So it just occurred to me that there's a day-night cycle in this game. That's completely unimportant, and it doesn't affect anything whatsoever. There's no need for a day-night cycle in this game. I saw the background animating before, but I thought it was just, like, an animated background. But it's, with the sun rising here, and it's been night up until now, I just realized, yeah, there's a day-night cycle in this game. As completely unimportant and meaningless as that is. And it's just one more thing that adds life to this world, this game. Ah! I'm so excited for future chapters of this game! Hopefully they come! But with a new day coming, let's go see what this fortress has in store. Well, yeah, like you thought you could just walk in. Really? Oh. Break the door down. I'm not a tomato. So the king doesn't have feet. Well, I mean, I guess we don't either through the grass. It's all we got, man. Might as well... Oh, there's a save point. Good deal. Uh, no! Um, I think, I, I will say I've not been referring, or I've been referring to Nell as female up until now, but this is the first time you're actually, it's actually pointed out to you that Nell is female. I don't know if Nell's gender changes alongside yours when you choose yours. I'm just going to avoid the question. Dang it. I like the smaller text when someone's like talking to themselves or whispering or some such. You make a fair argument. Dang it. You know what, Nell, you've been you've been feeling bad about this since the start. I'll give you a break, but I'm coming back for you. All the expressions like that Nell like looked up like that. Um, I'm also not giving out my name because I'm a spy. Does everybody think we're tomatoes? Sure. 
Sure thing, guy. Oh, dark in here. Dang it. Um, so I do know... I love the little dialogue that, like, one character will walk up to another and they'll just have a little conversation. Like, for such a short little thing, that there's so much detail put in to such a short period of time. Um, I do... I know if you talked to... <laughs> Alright. I know if you talk... Uh, when you were talking to Nell, if you said, come on anyway, she kind of argued you down and said, um... No, I, like, I'm already tired and exhausted, and I'm just going to drag you down, whatever. The least thing we need is to force somebody through this. Man, Sharpie, what's up? All right. Oh, it's dark down here, too. So this is all this is honestly the most like explorative the platforming and platformy the platforming in this game gets. Which is that this is just kind of a dark little there's stuff swimming around on the surface of the water. Oh I got a fauna guide. Yeah, that duder was looking for a fauna guide. I should go back and give this to him. Let's see what's to the right. Pretty sure nothing, but whoa. Oh, and you're just down here where the book was. I kind of go through that and think, hey, you should get a prize or something for this, shouldn't you? But... Well, not that way. I'm pretty sure Jam says that just after an amount of time down here. I'm not really sure. Uh, either way, let's go back and give um, give Duder McDuderson his book. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, books! Let's look at that book. So you can page through all the pages doing this, and it's just got information on all these different books. And I think what's interesting is I was expecting this to maybe be kind of important, and maybe it would be important in later chapters. But right now, it's nothing. You'll never see any of these. They're not like enemies you're going to encounter or anything. It's just a huge amount of, like, background information about the world and the creatures in it. And there's a ton of these. Maybe I'm going through a little bit quick. I have not taken the time to read all of these because there's a lot, and that's a lot of words about, like, birds and crap. But... Oh, you know what? We never we looked at uh, Hero Box. Hero Box! Okay, so let's start. Easy or Chaos. Let's play on easy. Level 1. So I'm Hero, and I'm in a box. So you can only move up and down. Whoops. God dang it. I'm kinda of trying to I'm trying to hit the attack button and I keep hitting the wrong button. 
Maybe I can't. Do I, like, have to get that gun before I can even shoot? Let's go this way. Oh, no, 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 it's like Hero. You have to press left and right in order to fire. So you press right, you look right, and you fire to the right. Yeah, we found the barrier! We did it! Level 2, and it's got a little map up there in the upper right. And it plays just like Hero, though, but like a really, really... Like, Game & Watch style... I can see all the enemies, um, have... They shoot bullets at you, but you also see they have, um, little appendages sticking off of them. That's effectively their health. Oh, it's the boss. Another one of the big fancy barriers! Yeah, we did it. So I think there are four levels. I'm not really sure where the boss is of this, so I'm gonna piddle around for a little while and see what happens. You do have l life, so you can take a couple hits. Yeah, I found the boss. Okay, so took out the middle row first, so I have a place to retreat to that's just safe now. I don't have to worry about stuff. Okay, in level four, I think this is the final world. Or final level. So I'm willing to bet the bosses is in the upper right like he usually is, or has been, anyway. I'm gonna work my way up there and see what happens. I think I have to go around this way. Okay, so yeah, it should be like the next room over, I think. Oh no, I got hit! My perfect run! Ruined! It's you! So the hardest part about this one... is dodging this vertical shot, because you have to go up, like, between the bullets. We did it! And then you start over on level one, you got a big score, you can keep playing, get more score, all that fancy stuff. But that is Hero Box. You guys been over here chatting about stuff? Alright, that's cool. So now that we're done with Hero Box, um, let's go back to what we're supposed to be doing. Which is not that way. No! I don't know, I like Hero, I like the little shout out to Hero there. I mean, it was a simple thing to add, but it's, I don't know, it's nice. It shows that uh, Daniel Ramar still 
likes Hero and likes the idea of Hero. Wait a minute. That's probably lying, maybe. Um, this drops down to the room we saw before where the water was falling into it. Which is a cool looking effect, by the way. Oh man, I guess we're gonna have to go in that pipe like we were told to go in. Yeah, we made it in. Oh, it's bright. Um, hi there. Should I be, how undercover should I be? Um, yes. Well, I can sort of at least see why people don't, aren't like, oh, I can go up here. Oh man, look at this. Looking outside. Oh, I can't go back in that door. Well, I'm here now. Um... What exactly do you do in the machine? Uh, sure thing. Crap, I've been found out. Hmm. Did, like, you get into a fight with somebody? Why would you want to stay here, though? No, 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 keep talking. I want to know what. No, come back! Cool. The graceful and incredible The King. Okay. So, that guy really likes caramel sauce. And we've now heard about The King. I think it's time to take a break. We've made it inside the fortress. And we are ready to explore. Hopefully, we can find something out. Something here seems a little bit fishy. Between how excited that man is for caramel sauce, and the fact that this machine apparently runs only on water and produces only water vapor as a result. Until next time, everyone. Look at that guy looking around. Looking down, squinting. <laughs>